Okay guys, so the items you're going to need for this are of course your semi-permanent dyes. Some Vaseline so that your face does not get stained. A mixing bowl to put your dye in and something to mix the dye up. Alright y'all, so my hair is actually pent up right now. I'm getting ready to take it out. I washed it yesterday and I twisted it. I didn't want to blow dry it because I'm not ready to blow dry my hair just yet. So to stretch my hair, I just put them in twists. So I'm getting ready to take my twist down and then we can start this dye process. Okay guys, so I decided to do um, like twist by twist. So I just started off by taking down the back pieces. And I am going to start with the very back of my hair. Only because that one takes the longest to dye. For some reason, I don't know why. So I'm just going to start in the back. And these parts do not have to be perfect. You just want to get the very back of your hair. Okay, so I didn't mention this before, but make sure you guys have gloves and a t-shirt or a shirt that you really don't care about getting stained. This shirt actually already has like a black stain on it at the bottom, so I don't really care about getting this shirt messed up. So yeah, you want to make sure you have your gloves, a t-shirt that you don't want, and you also want to make sure that you have something to put over your head while your hair is um, processing the dye. So let's just go ahead and get to Alright y'all, so the first... Um, what I'm going in with is the raspberry twist. And then the second color I'm going to go in is going to be wild cherry. And then the last one is going to be magenta.
Okay guys, so I'm getting ready to rinse this out of my hair. I left it in for about two hours, only because I had really dark hair. Um, I think you're supposed to only leave it in for like 30 minutes, but I left mine in for two hours because I have dark hair. Yeah, let's go ahead and rinse this out and then I'll come back. 